It's the biggest match of the season. The UEFA Champions League semi-final between Manchester City and Real Madrid. And with the help of a supercomputer, we might just be able to predict the outcome. Supercomputer has been fed all the data it needs. Player stats, team performance, historical data, and even the weather conditions at the match venue. According to the supercomputer, Manchester City has a 60% chance of winning this match, with a predicted scoreline of two, one in their favor. But we all know that football is not just about numbers. There are emotions, tactics, and individual moments of brilliance that can turn a game on its head. Real Madrid may be the underdogs in this match, but they have a history of defying the odds and delivering when it matters most. Guardiola will have his work cut out for him as he tries to outsmart Real Madrid manager Carlo Ancelotti, one of eight people to have won the European Cup or Champions League as both a player and a manager. This is a rematch of last year's semi-final, where Real Madrid advanced six, five on aggregate to become the ultimate winners. The stakes are high, as the winner of this semi-final will face either Milan or Inter in the June 10th final in Istanbul. Real Madrid has been hit with some team news ahead of the first leg. Eder Militao is suspended and will miss the home leg after picking up a booking just before all pre-existing yellow cards were reset for the semis. Ferland Mendy remains doubtful with his calf issue, but Luka Modric is confirmed to start. Aurelian Chouameni may drop out as a result. On the other hand, Nathan Ake has a hamstring problem and has missed training, making him doubtful for the City squad. However, Rodri, John Stones, Bernardo Silva, and Jack Grealish are expected to return after being rotated over the weekend in their win against Leeds. Now that Ancelotti has confirmed that the Croatia talisman Luka Modric will feature significantly, it's time to analyze how wise that decision is for the Italian coming into this game. The 37-year-old has shown himself capable of uncorking vintage form on the big occasions, and they don't come much more significant than this. Modric's creativity and vision in the middle will be vital, but there is a danger that a lack of full fitness could put Real at a disadvantage in the battle for midfield supremacy. On the other hand, Rodri was a man possessed in the opening leg of City's quarterfinal victory over Bayern Munich, and similar form could make it difficult for the Spanish giants to live with him. Going with a more combative element in the middle might avoid any immediate threat of being overwhelmed, but Modric's mastery, along with Tony Cruz's craft and Fede Valverde's non-nonsense approach, have all contributed towards some of Real's best results this season. It could be that despite Modric being viewed as a bit of a risk from the start based on his fitness, the real miss for Ancelotti and his team is Militao at the back. Antonio Rudiger and David Alaba are both quality defenders, but Militao brings an authority and serenity that few in Europe can match on his day, and that could cost real more than gambling on Modric being fit to start might. And let's not forget the individual talents on both sides. Karim Benzema for Real Madrid, and Erling Haaland for Manchester City are both capable of changing the course of the match with their sheer talent. The stage is set, the players are ready, and the fans are cheering. Who will come out on top in this epic clash between two footballing giants? Only time will tell, but one thing is for sure, this match is going to be a thrilling ride. Stay tuned for all the action and analysis right here on our channel.